Wasn't that a fun spooky season? How was your Halloween? That's cool. Anyway, and now that we tried all the teas and enjoyed Halloween, the teas that we tried for Halloween being, you know, mixed, the best one being the Ethereal Spectre, I think that's what it was called. We're going back to the Disneyland tea set. We tried three so far, and there's two left. And today we're going to try the Earl Grey. Earl Grey is, well, it's a mixture of black teas with oil of bergamot inside. If oil of bergamot sounds familiar, it's because it was also in another tea in here called Topsy Turvy, the one I absolutely hated. Now, maybe that's just because they had too much. So I'm gonna try to go into this one with a clear mind, even though it had one of the ingredients that I hated. Also, Earl Grey, also known as the basic bitch tea, because my friend who works at a Starbucks says everybody orders Earl Grey, so it's the basic bitch. That doesn't mean it's bad. Water is a basic bitch. Without water, we die. Now let's go to my favorite part of these videos, which is the design and the artistry of the tea, you know, bag itself. Look, you got the Queen of Hearts for the Earl Grey Disney Wonderland tea, Earl Grey black tea. And on the back, you have, you know, Disney Parks, how to make tea, AKA Uncold Tea. I always read these because I enjoy it by the Mad Hatter. Start at the beginning, and when you come to the end, stop. Pour hot water over one tea bag in your cup and steep for three to four minutes. We recommend your clock be two days slow. Ha ha ha. Move down the table and get a clean cup. Ingredients premium blend of Chinese and Indian black tea with oil of bergamot flavor. Again, we'll give it a chance because I want to come into a clear mind and not just have a bad thought of it at the beginning. Now let's take a closer look of what's inside of this tea bag. It's time to do a little opening and sniff test. That was a bad rip. That's better. The package always smells different. This smells nice and I'm smelling that oil. I just hope there's not a lot like last time. If I could describe it, the smell would be Like a flower? I'm getting a flower. But what kind of flower? Pulpery flower, which is a problem because last time I smelled pul pulpery. But again, clear thought, clear mind. Can't think about that. Now, let's get a closer look at the shredded tea leaves. And here we go with tea leaves that are shredded so much it can just be used as mulch. <clears throat> they have these white specks. And I don't know what they are, but if I were to guess, maybe that's just the oil. I don't know if you could do that with oil. I don't think that is. And I'll just stop and ignore that. What's this? What is that? Huh, could be just a tea leaf. Here's the problem when everything is shredded. I, I don't know what's the difference. But here you go, shredded black tea leaves with white specks that I'm not going to even make uh, assumptions about because when you make an assumption, you eat ass. And now it's time to brew the tea. So here we have the color of the tea. A very dark red, like mahogany, is the color that I am seeing. I don't know what you're seeing. To be fair, 
I am colorblind, so the color I'm seeing could be different from the color you're seeing. But I'm seeing a red, mahogany, dark tea color. It's a very nice color. Now let's get to a little sniff and a little taste. And here we have our Earl Grey tea. Sniff. And the first problem we're having with, as you remember, the Topsy Turvy tea, the tea I absolutely hated because it was trash. Um, it smells like this, but not as strong. So maybe they used less bergamot oil, but still, gotta keep a clear head for this first sip. Oh. Strike number one, it smells like the other tea. Because of course it does, I'm not, of course it would. It's the same ingredient. Taste, sip, let's go. This is better than that other tea. This, I would actually say, is good. I need honey or milk with this to make it a lot better. But if you're wondering what I'm tasting, I'm tasting that oil. That bergamot oil. But this is how much there should be in it. Not enough to make me think that I'm drinking steeped potpourri. So this is the quality it should get. I'm getting that oil taste. I'm gonna say flower. But I don't even know if there's flowers in this. I don't think there is. No, just Indian and black tea with oil of bergamot. It tastes like black tea with the oil, but not like potpourri. So this so far is good. And it's relaxing me. Nothing really negative. I think I just don't care for that oil. I could go without it. Or maybe it's better with it. I don't know. I need to just drink some regular black tea to really decide. But this isn't bad. And I think I'll just rate it right now because I don't have anything else really to say. It's black tea with oil. Bergamot oil. And it would taste better with milk or cream or honey. So there's that. But this by itself. I would give it a... 6 out of 10. Nice tea, nice by itself. You know, has some aspects to it that can really help with a little bit of extra stuff helping it. But this by itself is good. And I still have my teapot right here. The other half. I think I'll add maybe cream to it. Cream and sugar. Maybe if you don't have cream, just milk. All I have is almond milk. But anyway, yeah, Earl Grey tea from the Disney set. I burped, I'm sorry. Six out of 10. Thank you for watching. You do, you do, you do, you do good.